so this is a game called Echelon. It's a 3D space simulator. It was published in 1987. This version is for Commodore 64. I don't know 100% certain, but I'm sure there were other versions for Amiga and Atari and so forth. It really wasn't a seminal game, not like Elite or Elite, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm not sure how memorable it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a fun game because I played it for a few months. I never finished it. But it was a gimmicky game. And the gimmick was this thing here. The lipstick. Included with game, the lipstick. Limited offer. The lipstick was basically a headset and it was a voice activated fire button. And the theory was you would put this on your head and you would just shout fire, fire, fire into the headset. The reality is you could shout anything like boobies and it would still work. Um, after a while I stopped using the, head, the headset because it, it was just not worth it. But I did play, continue to play the game without the headset. This is almost a complete box set. The only thing that's missing is the lipstick, uh, which is kind of a shame. I mean, as unuseful as it was, it was still a, an interesting thing. But uh, I'll open the box and you'll see inside the box. And like many space simulators, it's, it's kind of complex, probably over complex or even gratuitous, gratuitously complex. It's a floppy disk. It's right protected, so I imagine you must have to have a, another diskette to save to. Uh, eventually it will tell you to flip the disk over. No label on the other side. It's a flippy disk. This is the keyboard overlay. And you would put this on your keyboard because you would need to know what keys to press. There's a lot of keys and a lot of things going on here. This is a map of the game world. And as you played the game, you would mark your map with various points of interest. Luckily, this map is pristine, so either whoever whoever owned this game either didn't play it or just didn't use it right on the map. And finally, you have your Echelon Operations Manual, which is a pretty hefty manual for a game. It's over 70 pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load this on an SX64 and I'll move my camera over there so you can see that over here this is my SX64 with the keyboard here and I also have a joystick it's a generic joystick Atari pinout turn on the SX64. I'm going to play it on an external monitor because this monitor is just too small. And there it is. So it's on with the camera back over here. And let me adjust the camera so you can see the screen. Like that. The monitor is connected to the S video port of the SX64. The sound is not, so the sound will still come out of the SX. So, first thing I do is stick the disc in the floppy and then load. And you wait. And this screen lets you choose fast loading or normal loading. Normal loading should be called slow loading. And luckily I can run this on fast loader. So press F for fast loader.
Ooh, look at the futuristic farm. Now here it says, stand by for name and voice print verification. Please put on your headset. You would type your name or any name. When you press enter, it'll prompt you to speak into the headset. I don't have the headset. Luckily, whoever developed this game uh, realized people may not have or may not be using their headset and there's a bypass for that. And you would just type star ECH, I guess for echelon, after your name. So I'll type in my name. Press enter. Priority sequence override just means it's not going to do the voice check. says insert back side of disk, flip the disk over, press space, and this is the main screen of the game. And basically what you have here is, this is my main viewport, this is a local grid map, there's a much bigger grid, but these are the immediate surrounding grids, I guess these are weapons and uh, a bunch of other stats here. So the first thing you want to do is, this is a, a space station that I'm in, the first thing you want to do is exit the space station. And I'm out of the space station. And I can press space to come to a complete stop and press the joystick to go down and that's basically the surface of the world yeah it's all wireframe graphics I mean don't forget this is 1987 it's a Commodore 64 I'm not scoffing on Commodore 64 if you know me I'm big on Commodore 64 but it is what it is so there's just a lot of stuff going on here that you can do uh, one of the interesting things about this game is on the box it's sort of an open world game. You can play it however you want. You can play it as a, a scientific expedition. You can uh, look at the artifacts on the ground. There's a puzzle to solve. You can do a patrol, which I guess is sort of a mix of the scientific expedition with some enemies thrown in. And you can just play it as a military, uh, a basic a space shooter. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, be too long for a walkthrough for everything. Uh, you got different views. Press the keys, you get different viewports. Go back to the main viewport. The control key will bring up what's called the data link, which is sort of the main menu where you can do any number of things, get help and whatnot. That's you go through docking it tells you how to do docking game options and save and so on and so forth so I will just exit to go back out to the oops back out to the main menu and press keys to activate your weapons and that's my weapon activated and deactivate the weapon I can I don't know if you can hear the sound of an engine humming in the background, very light sound. Scroll down, go over this way, there's something over here, I don't know what that is, but you can also see it in the, uh, in the grid. 
my altitude. I don't know if these are miles or kilometers. I'll come to a full stop. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's too much to go through uh, in a walkthrough. Take probably an hour to go through all the different options in the, that are in here. Um, but that's pretty much it. This is Echelon, an earlier space flight simulator for Commodore 64. Thanks for watching.